Hello everyone, I am Gagandeep Singh. Welcome to my channel. I have created this video to walk you through the process of creating a CI-CD pipeline for Angular in Jenkins. This CI-CD pipeline will consist of multiple stages starting with checking out our code from file system and then installing all the dependencies followed by running test cases and then publishing our code coverage report in SonarCube. Then we create a war file and finally we deploy it in Tomcat server. Let's start. To follow this tutorial, you have to make sure that you have SonarCube and Tomcat up and running. You can find the tutorial link in the description below. Let's move on towards making necessary changes in our Angular application. Now, here we have to perform four modifications. First, we will have to install Sonar Scanner as a developer dependency. You will find all these commands in the description. Once this is completed, the next step would be to add a build script in your package.json. Here you can see that I have already added the build script. After that, the next step would be to modify the karma.conf.js. This is only required in Angular 11 plus. You can go to karma.conf.js and then in reporters arrow, you can specify type elcov. This is used to generate a code coverage report with elcov extension. After that, the final step is to add all the necessary configuration for Sonar. You will have to create a file named sonarproject.properties and paste these changes. First line specifies the URL in which we have SonarCube running and then we have login and password that specifies the username and password of SonarCube. Then we can give any project key and project name, preferably the actual name of this project. And then project version can be anything. Source encoding should be UTF-8 and then exclusion refers to the files that should be excluded by Sonar. Inclusion, we give the wildcard name for all the test files we have in our project. And then finally, we have the part to specify the code coverage report. This is the path in which code coverage report is created when we run the code coverage command. This front end must be replaced by your project name. Additionally, create a file named ignore.txt and add a line with node modules in it. This will enable us to add node modules as an ignored folder in Jenkins. Let's go back to Jenkins. We have made all the necessary configuration in our Angular project. Let's move on towards creating a pipeline. Click on new item, click on pipeline, click on Angular demo, give any name, click OK. Scroll down to the pipeline script section. Copy and paste the pipeline script. You can find this in the description below. This is a Jenkins scripted pipeline. I will walk you through this pipeline code once. The first step is checkout. It copies our source code from local system to Jenkins workspace as we are not using git. And along with that, I have also added this exclude flag. It reads that ignore.txt file and ignores all the folders that are present inside this. The next step is npm install. It is used to install all the necessary dependencies. And then we have the testing stage. It runs all the test cases and generates a code coverage report. Then sonar scanner coverage. This stage publishes the code coverage report in sonar cube scanner. Then we have make production build stage. This stage creates a production build in angular and also generates a war file. Here I have also added the base href equals to front end replace this front end with the name of your application also make sure to add these forward slashes 
This is required to append the project name in the path as it is necessary in Tomcat. Make sure to change this name also in your application pipeline. And finally, we have deploy on this server stage. This will publish our generated war file in Tomcat and we will be able to access this in our browser. Let's go back to the code. Save. Build now. To save time, I have skipped the build section of this video. Once this process is complete, you will see this message finished success. Let's cross verify this. Go to your Tomcat 8085 and type the project name front end. Okay, so my application is properly running. In this way, we can implement a CI CD pipeline for Angular in Jenkins. If you have any questions or you are facing any issues, feel free to post them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.